with Lisa Lisa. Hi, lovers. And guess what, y'all? Today is Vlogmas Day. Yes, y'all. We in this thing doing up this Vlogmas. I am so excited and so on. So happy to be creating these videos for you guys, and I hope you all are enjoying them. And I am enjoying you all who are in the premieres and those who are watching after and leaving me all these wonderful, sweet, loving, and kind comments. I so appreciate you all. Also, if this is your first time here, hey girl, hey boy, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, Welcome back. Welcome back. I can't do this without you all. So today you all, the Grace Life DIY Home Decor have a collaboration. And Decorate a lantern. Hashtag Lantern Fun 22. Yes, you all. So it is an open collaboration and you're free to join in and create your lantern freestyle the way that you want to. But if you do um, decide to do the video, make sure you do um, hashtag lantern fun 22 so she'll be able to see your video. Okay? All right, you all. So I have my lantern here. I have my white lantern. And as you can see, there are no doors. No doors. It's open. But it does open at the top. Okay? So I thought that was kind of cute. I thought that was kind of cute. So yeah, this is my lantern and I have all sorts of things that I may possibly decorate this lantern with. Um, I have all types of greeneries, uh, eucalyptus, um, let's see, I have some flock sprays and then I have some more dry sprays and I have two can y'all see that ribbon yeah three so i'm gonna be using three different wreath patterns okay and i also want to use this s for our last name so i have my handy dandy glue gun and also to have a bell and then i have some smaller bells Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then I have some acorns. Aren't those cute, y'all? Some acorns. And if you know, you know. If you've been to Hobby Lobby, you already know. That's where they came from, y'all. <laughs> yes, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to see if I can put my S on here. I'm going to try and put it right here. And I want this lantern to be like farmhouse. So I'm not going to paint my S. I want the natural wood, okay? And the reason why, another reason why I don't want to paint it a different color is because I'm using the different color bowls and the patterns, okay? So I don't want to this S to get lost, okay? If that makes sense. But it's going to be cute however I do it. <laughs> Look at me being cocky, y'all. Look at me. Look at me. So, um, me trying to be smart and have... Okay, there it goes. I was about to say, can't find the glue stick, y'all. All right. Let's get this show on the road. I'm going to move that bell out the way. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm trying to do it where y'all can see what I'm trying to do. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all just don't know how much I appreciate you all. I even appreciate the ones that I don't see. Okay. I think this is good, but I think I better tack her a little bit down here. Okay. 
Okay, this is what she's looking like so far. Okay. And I'm always calling things she, I guess, because I'm a she, I'm a her. <laughs> so yeah, and y'all, try these DIYs, okay? I think I need to put some more glue on this bottom side. Hold on, y'all, I got to turn it around so I can see what I is doing. Yeah, it didn't get on there. There we go. I'm reinforcing, reinforcing you all. Okay, so I'm liking that so far. So, now let's get into putting these sprays together. So, I have two of these y'all. And my thought was to put these two together like so, just like this. And I want to come on this side. So I want drama. I want it to be dramatic, okay? So I know somebody probably said, ooh, that's too much, that's too long. No, it ain't. <laughs> it ain't. So I got these two together. So what I do want to do is I want to add. So let me do this first. I'm going to take my handy dandy wire. If I can find where it opens it. Okay, I got my wire. Sounds like somebody's dropping off some packages, y'all. Okay, so I got my wire. And I want to move that over. And I'm going to tie it together. Tie them together. Now, also, too, with these, because they are so long, if you want to trim them or cut them, you can. That is strictly up to you, okay? So, what I'm doing right now is I'm using my craft wire, and it blends right on in because it's green. So, I'm using my craft wire. And then I'm going to be using, these eucalyptus want to be in the show because they keep getting on everything. And then I'm going to add my sprays in, okay? But I think what I want to do is I want to add these on here first. That's what I want to do. So, in order for these to stand the way that I want them to stand, I'm going to have to take another piece of wire. Hmm, let me see something. Mm, no, I don't like that. Let me go with my first idea. Now, if this would have been the pine, if this would have been the pine, I probably would have done that because by putting this up here, it gives you the opportunity to be able to attach this to it, okay? So that's where I was going with that. But I don't like it that it has that different, um, the different style of greenery. I try to keep this stuff together. Okay, now. And then anything that I'm putting up here, y'all, trust and believe, it's going to be colored up. So I'm going to go ahead, I don't know if y'all can, can see that, and put this on here, okay? And then I'm going to attach this and hope, in hopes that it doesn't. fall off and this is the way I'm doing it y'all this is the way that I'm doing it it doesn't mean that you have to do it this way if you decide to 
add these type of sprays to your lantern and I want to tie it tight but I'm gonna have the bows on there so they're gonna help it stay as well too it's working guys <laughs> it's working Okay, y'all, trying to put this wire up in here, out the way. Okay, and it's okay, it's okay that it's going that way, it's okay. So, now, the next thing I wanna do is I want to try to add my little picks in here. If I can. I started to add them in the beginning when I was putting these together. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to have to bring it to me so I can see what's really going on up in here. Um, yes, I want her over there. And y'all, do your lanterns how you want to do them, how you want them to look, because again, this is free stuff. And then you can use what you already have, or if you just wanna go out and buy, good luck with that, because at this day and age, stuff is all picked over. And what I'm doing right now is trying to hide that, that little leg right there. So you can manipulate these branches. See how I just did that? The leg was sticking out, so I got the branch and wrapped it around because I got enough. I got enough right here. And then these, I gotta get these where they're gonna stay. They won't go where I want them to go, y'all. Why is that? Okay, we good. I just wanna make sure that they are good and stable. Okay. Okay, now. That we got that looking like that. Let me show y'all what we got so far. This is the front. Of course, I don't want to put anything in the front of it. And then we got the S here. Okay? All right, y'all just stay tuned and watch the process, okay? All right. I'm going to use my Bodabra here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these bowls separately. And then um, I'm going to put them together. So, of course, I want this to be my largest bow. This is 4 inches by 18 feet. So I'm just going to put it over here. And I do want a little leg. I want a little leg. Like I said in the beginning, I think I said that in the beginning, I wanted to have a little bit of drama, okay? If you all missed the Christmas tree reveal, y'all go back and watch it. Go back and watch it. 
I had fun. I had fun, but it was a lot of work, guys. This is some pretty, pretty ribbon. Pretty, pretty ribbon. Okay. Y'all, there are so many different ways to make bows. Whatever works for you. Works for you. And then I'm going to um, duct tail the ends when I'm done. This one is too long, so I'm going to cut it even. So I'm going to duct tail it in the end. And I'm going to use, I wish I had a black, um, a black zip tie, but I don't. And that's okay because we're going back to our handy dandy wire. And all I'm doing is taking my wire, moving this leg over. You want to make sure you get it all in there. And tie it. Now, as I see... Okay, I like both sides of the loops that I have here. And if y'all want me to do a video on different ways to make bows, leave it down in the comment section. I can do that for you guys. And I'm not one to go live, but... um. Just every now and then I did on Living Life with Lisa Lisa. But for this channel, I have not gone live at all. At all. So if y'all want to do, want me to do a live um how to create bows, we can do that. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have my ducktail and the way I ducktail is I fold it and I take my scissors and I cut upward. And this is what the ducktail looks like. Okay. Now I'm gonna lay her down. Because there's no need of me fluffing it out right now when I'm adding the other bows to there, okay? So now I have this bow. This is two and a half by 30 feet. And I don't want her to be as large as her. So we're going to put the bow in. And this particular um, ribbon, as you can see, this is what it looks like on this side. And this is what it looks like on this side. So what I want to do is I want to create whereas this is what shows, not this side, okay? Around it, this stuff is so amazing. This craft wire, and you can make your loops whatever size you want to make them. A lot of times I don't focus on the loops, the sizes, making sure that they're the same on each side, but I need to start doing that. All right, so y'all get the idea on how to make these bowls, all right? So I'm going to be back. I'm going to make my other one. All right, you guys, so I am back, and um, I have made all of my bows that I'm going to make, and I've also combined them together. All I did was just layer one on top of the other one. 
it looks so good and so extravagant until I moved it to the side. Yes, I did. I moved it to the side because I don't want y'all to see it until the reveal. But I did pop back on because I do want to add these bells to my um, to my um, bow situation. So I'm just going to, I got, again, y'all, my handy dandy, my handy dandy, um, let me see if this is the way I want it. I think I'm going to do it like this. My handy dandy craft wire, I got it. And what I'm going to do is string these bells on here. And what I'm doing is I'm tying a knot at the end so they don't fall off because I want it to look like this like it's on a string okay I hope I tied it tight enough where they don't fall off but if they do I can go back and retie it so I want to be like that up and I hope this video um will inspire and encourage you all to create your DIY lantern that um, we you can share with us because we would love to see it. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish this lantern. Y'all, I'm so happy with this lantern. I think this is the best one that I have ever. I have ever made y'all i am so excited and i hope you guys like it too but i'm gonna put some finishing touches on it and i'm gonna see y'all over at the reveal i hope y'all ready i hope y'all ready i hope y'all ready 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 here she is i got her on a little turntable so i can just turn it around so you guys can see it but it is a bit too heavy for this little turn table I have here but y'all take a look isn't she a beauty and I always say you guys don't click off because you never know I may take something away I may add something or I may just all together change it so I did remove where the S was I did y'all I removed it so y'all, this is an easy lantern to make. You just get your sprays, your florals, your ribbon, whatever you want to do to add to it. So you guys saw me create the ribbon. So I created the ribbons and I tied them together. And I also don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I added a bell in the middle. And then y'all saw a clip where I was putting the bells on the string and then I decided that that would be too much because this is dramatic in itself but it is a beautiful dramatic piece and um I just decided to put the one bell in there and also too these are the eucalyptus clips here and what I did was just clip them on and added them throughout and yeah that was it y'all that was it and as you can see in the bottom i added the tall candle i also added the um bell down there as well too and then also if you can see right here i added the acorn right here but i'm going to give you guys a close-up close-up so you can see everything that i did here but yeah it turned out beautifully you guys I hope you all like it because I love it. I'm holding this little turntable, y'all, because I don't want it to fall off. But yeah, you all, this is it. And I hope you all like it. I just thought the S where I originally put it, I just thought that it was just standing alone over on the other side by itself. So I decided to incorporate it with the florals and I think that was a great idea yes 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 I think it was a great great idea and I'm also glad that I took a chance 
with the long um, pine needles, I'm glad I took a chance with that because it does not overpower it because you still see the entire lantern with the beautiful bows and everything. And y'all look at it. Just look at the details with the different lengths of the different styles of bowls that I created here. I just created just some beautiful, beautiful drama, okay? But yes, and the eucalyptus just just did it, just did it for me. Yeah, y'all. So yeah, y'all, this is it. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and close out, but before I go, I want to be able to do a close-up where you guys can see it a little bit closer so you can see all of the details in this dramatic beautiful lantern here that i have created and i hope you guys like it i, I think it's it's beautiful y'all know i'm extra and it's okay to be extra sometimes all right you guys so thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in and like i said in the beginning if this is your first time here welcome 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 i so appreciate you all for tuning in and i thank you for your support and if you guys will please give me a thumbs up and leave me comments down below but before you click off look at the close-up before you click off okay and i will see you all tomorrow in the next video